hi there guys thank you for stopping by to share with julie today i hope you're having a fantabulous day today people often ask how long does it take to heal the body and this is a difficult question to answer because there is no one answer because for every individual um, it is different and some of the things we'll have to take into consideration are you know the condition that you're dealing with you know whether you're dealing with um, a benign tumor whether it's cancer whether it's diabetes you know what it is that you are trying to address so that always have to um, be factored in the time frame that's the first thing the second is genetics um, some people are you know they're they don't have strong genes and if you have weaker genes then it would usually take a longer time for one to rebuild when you have weaker genes the body tears down faster and then will likely tear down faster than somebody who has stronger genes and it will take um, likely a longer time for you to you know rebuild and to strengthen the body to rejuvenate the body so that is something else that one also have to consider and third thing is the diet you know what approach are you taking to healing this condition um because with the diet it has to the diet has to be critical and when you're trying to heal the body the more we abstain from food the better it usually is unless under some circumstances which which i'll talk about shortly so it's what you're eating while you're you might be doing herbs but what are you eating you know while you're also doing your herbs you know so that has to be taken into consideration and like i say the less you consume solid foods um, the better it is usually when you're trying to heal the body um, because that is more energy that the body has to take to break down food so you know and that is why when you fast you know fasting can be so beneficial and even if you don't go on a long-term fast even using intermittent fasting if you're 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 um you're healing and you're using raw foods for example you know you could use intermittent fasting with that couple that with intermittent fasting if you're doing juicing couple that with intermittent um fasting so that you're consuming less and the body spends the less energy processing foods and more time healing so the diet is also um, critical and some people of course they it is not recommended that you fast even in trying to heal the body even though fasting is so beneficial some people um, they're really the condition is really debilitating you know they're weak they don't have the energy they don't have the strength and so you need the energetic of the food you need the energetic of the food and so for people like those you know easy to digest fruits and you know especially astringent fruits um high water content fruits and you know they need to consume and even astringent um, fruit sometimes is too much for them they can't deal with with that and so you probably have to start them with the sweeter fruits you know the sweeter fruits and the green juices you have to incorporate more of that 
in their diet and smoothies you know things like that not a lot of smoothie more juices um, per se but you want things that are easier to digest so um, that is something that we always have to take into consideration um, no two persons alike I'm, is alike I mentioned that in a video um, recently no two persons are alike and you cannot compare your healing journey to anyone else you know but having said that I would say this you know give yourself at least 30 days and of course it depending on what it depends on what you're dealing with you might not need 30 days to see significant changes um, you know in your whole being you might not need that amount of time but at least give yourself 90 days for any program that you're trying to work at and sometimes you might even need to go way beyond that but give yourself that time to at least begin to see you know some significant changes taking place in whatever regimen that you are doing and don't put your healing down to time you know it is an emotional journey it's a physical journey and for many you'll realize it's also a spiritual journey and so you take it one day at a time and commit to it commit 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 and sometimes you may have people around you who don't support your um, the, the, um, the avenue which you decide to take to heal yourself because many people you know they believe that if you don't go to a doctor you know you're making a big mistake especially if you're trying to do it do it um, do it on your own um, with natural healing methods and so sometimes you need that support and whether it's joining groups online or you know having a friend or someone who you can reach out to at the difficult moments when you're probably tempted to go and take you know consume something that you shouldn't or you're tempted to um, you know just give up you know somebody somebody there who understands and who can encourage you it's important to have that kind of support whether it's virtual because you know are you know the person is you know a real somebody who you can call up and they can come over or the, you know it's a forum group or something like that so you know like I say it's difficult to say exactly you know how long for some conditions you can say roughly but um, it's all about what you do you know your genetics how committed you are um, for example diabetes most people with type 2 diabetes can that can be turned around in approximately 30 days or less you know um, for something like that and you know a fibroid fibroid tumors it depends on how many fibroids you have how big they are how small they are you know and and, and in terms of you know what how fast you can shrink them so like I say it's different for everybody and you just have to assess your situation as you go and be committed and be willing to go the distance that it will take to heal um, the body so that's what I have to say um, for you guys to you <laughs> that's what I have to say to you guys today I hope you found it useful subscribe to my channel like and share my videos don't forget be the change you'd like to see in this world. Have a fantabulous day today. Ta-ta.